All right, Aries, welcome in, welcome in. This is a reading for you, a bit of a forecast reading for 2024 tarot. And I'm going to put a little astrology into this. I'll talk more about these things in the extended, but I want to uh, kind of give you a framework of what's going to be going on. I'm going to touch on some of the biggest things happening next year. Again, that's in the extended, but I'll talk a little bit about a few things right now that I want you to uh, keep in mind that um, may uh, show up in your life next year. So as you know, uh, astrology really is about time and it is about this, the expression of time in our lives and cycles. I'm recording this right as Mercury and retrograde is starting and Mercury and retrograde is like a three week cycle, right? It's a small cycle. It's something that um, brings through messages for us to be able to connect to them so that we can then level up for the next cycle, right? It's bringing a message through to us. That's what Mercury and retrograde is. So I'm going to, and that's what's happening right now through the end of 2023. But this, this reading is about 2024. So we'll get some themes in the tarot and the Oracle deck. What I want to point out to you right now, though, is Pluto. I've been talking about this all year. Pluto is currently in Capricorn at the 29th degree. Yay. <laughs> the 29th degree is known as the anoretic degree. It is a fated destined moment. It's sort of like, okay, you went to class all semester and now this is the final exam. It's like, can you jam a whole semester or two semesters worth of learning in a couple nights in order to get an A on the final exam. Highly unlikely, highly unlikely, unless you already have some awareness about the topic and things like that. So Pluto has been in Capricorn since 2008. And when Pluto ingressed into Capricorn, we had the banking crisis. So Capricorn is about the rules and it's also about power and control. At the 29th degree, those who are losing power, losing control, try to hold on. So you could see that in your life, that Capricorn is showing up in your 10th house of career. And if you are trying to get desperately to hold on to a career or some kind of hierarchical power or control, I will say to you that Pluto moving into your 11th house of Aquarius uh, in the 20th, around the 20th of January in 2024. And for most of 2024, then what's happening in September through the middle of November is it's going to wobble back into Capricorn, 29 degrees again, and then it's going to move into Aquarius for the next 20 years. Okay. So if you're wanting to know what it's going to be like with Pluto in Capricorn and in, in Aquarius, I'm sorry, Pluto in Aquarius, which is starting on January 20th of 2024. I think it's 2043 that it moves out. It moves out of Aquarius. So it's a long time. If you want to know, get a little preview, go back in this year. If you journal, this won't be that hard. Uh, you might have to uh, refresh your memory a little bit if you don't. Uh, 2023, like March, April, May, and into June. We had Pluto um, in Aquarius at that time. It was a little three-month stint. And so we're going from an Earth sign, Pluto and Capricorn, to Pluto in Aquarius, air sign. Big difference in energy. What happened for you during those three months of March, April, May, like into June a little bit? What was going on in your life? Because that's a good preview especially around your career, your reputation, how you're seen in the world. In the Western world, we call it 10th house is the house of career. But in reality, it's much more about like how you're publicly seen. So there could have been some kind of issue around, um, not issue, some kind of change around maybe you had some kind of humanitarian burst of energy during that time. Maybe you did a lot of volunteering. Maybe you were focused on the collective or you had some kind of spiritual awakening or something like that, that really changed how you're looking at your career or how you're looking at how you're showing up in the world. So take a look back and see what was going on in that time and reflect during Mercury retrograde here before we get to January. 
Uh, Mercury retrogrades are good for reflecting, okay? Rethinking, reevaluating. Take a look at that, okay? And since it's moving from the 10th house of career into the 11th house, the 11th house is all about the collective. It's all about enlightenment. It's about social circles. It's about people that we know, um, colleagues, like big uh, connection to the global um, uh, universe, right? Collect connection to global um, structures of friends, six degrees of Kevin Bacon, that kind of stuff. Uh, the 11th house is also the internet. You could be moving from a traditional career, which is very Capricorn, into something very non-traditional or a non-traditional way of doing your career. Something like that, okay? So we'll go more into what's happening in 2024 in the extended, but right now let's let's work through the tarot reading. Also in the extended, I'll pull a card for each month just to give you a sense of what's going on. All right, so Aries, for you, my darling... What is the message for Aries here? What is going on for you in 2024? Time to go. Hmm, time to go. And right next to it, that new life, the new life card here. So I'm going to take that. Higher power, enlightenment. Wow. Wow, Aries. Holy smokes. We have a lot of Aries energy going on also uh, that I'll talk about. Come to the edge. This is a huge shift into the spiritual. I would bet that earlier this year you had some kind of spiritual activation or some kind of um, dream, some kind of uh, maybe your third eye opened up. Maybe you uh, all of a sudden got some downloads. Maybe you all of a sudden were aware of your intuition in a more meaningful way. Um Maybe you started seeing 11.11, started seeing a lot of synchronicities. Whatever it was, it wasn't small because it's going to show up in your life in a big way moving forward, okay? Um, this is a totally new life that's likely to happen here. All right, so Aries, for you, my darling, what wants to come out for Aries, please? What wants to come out for you? Okay, one more. <laughs> that time to go thing. Wow. Pay attention to the messages that are coming through during Mercury and retrograde, really do. Okay, because I feel like you have a power or a, um, a gift that's open, starting to open up for you. Underneath is the seven of wands. Can Seven of wands. There's it is again, judgment. The cards that are underneath are the car are the messages that are happening, even though they you might not see them happening or they're going on your subconscious, your unconscious. I feel like you might be pushing back against this gift or because of other people. What will other people think? Okay, but you're really here to help somebody. You're here to help people. Six of Pentacles. Like if you have a career that's I don't know if there's anything about it that's out of alignment with what you believe to be good and meaningful in the world. If you're doing something that you're kind of like, yeah, well, you know, this is, this is what happened to me when I was working in TV news. I got to the point where I was like, you know what? I don't like where this is going. And I left. I just didn't feel like it was, um, it wasn't, uh, portraying, truth in a way that I thought was meaningful for people. It was portraying a truth, but it wasn't, for me, it just was like out of alignment with me. So I left. Five of cups, ace of pentacles. There's something new coming in world. What I was talking about, the global or galactic, some of you, okay, so I'm just going to say this. Some of you may have some kind of uh, visitation from spirit, some kind of connection with extraterrestrials, some kind, you know, the Palladians, whatever, some kind of thing that you're like, oh no, no, I can't tell anybody about that. They're going to think I'm totally off my, off my rocker. Some of you had some really interesting, uh, telepathy with a twin flame. 
something like that. This is like part of the global experience. There's some kind of new grounded thing. Okay. So maybe your work, because we're talking about career, changing career, uh, that has to do with the higher power. Some of you might be becoming more spiritual in your work. Some of you might be leaving a traditional career behind and going towards something that is connected um, to spirit. Some of you may be becoming a tarot reader on YouTube or something like that, okay? Um, yeah, here's 10 of Pentacles. That You're showing up as the 10 of Pentacles. Emperor, there you are. There you are, Emperor. Opportunity, please. Justice. Uh, there's an opportunity to balance. If you have had a career that has been all about the Benjamins, if you've been all about the money and not really about how it's impacting Mother Earth or impacting spiritual or not, you're not seeing it as spiritual, I feel like this is balancing out. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're going in a more spiritual direction here. Uh, what's wanting to show up here? Six of Wands. It's victory. Two of Wands. Look at this. Are you going, are you like moving to the Maldives or something like that? Some of you could be doing something like that. Two of wands, three of cups, a new, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Wow. All right. I'll talk you through this. Okay. So some of you have a new tribe. Some of you are going towards a new tribe and you're making some new decisions. The other life was about ego. And I don't mean like you're an egomaniac. I mean that it fed some kind of story that you tell yourself about who you are. And because the 10th house is that house of how we, our reputation or how we present ourselves in the world, it was kind of like, I want to be seen as successful. Now, the outcome of this, five of pentacles, there's some kind of shame around not making a ton of money. That you feel like that's a waste of time or something like that. And I just feel like that message is coming to an end for you, okay? You're seeing life from a new enlightened perspective, something totally different. You might even uh, um, be feeling like brand new. You might be having a, a love partner come in and show you this. I'm getting Knight of Cups and, and uh, Knight of Pentacles. So we are talking about something that's tangible, okay? Some of you might be helping other people that need help. Maybe you're becoming more philanthropic. Like the money isn't just to, you know, buy a bigger house or a bigger boat or something like that. It's like, what am I doing with this money? What am I doing with this? And this is something about like helping, helping uh, some kind of global enterprise uh, that has to do with humanitarian efforts. Um and the Six of Pentacles, it's a very nurturing energy. And so that Knight of Cups, this can almost like, this might, for some of you, might bring you back to like your original, I don't know, what not what you wanted to do. But like, I'll, I'll say this to you. I have a friend who's, a, who's an attorney. And when he was in college with us, he was all about social justice. He was all about like fighting for the little guy and doing things that were going to help humanity and all this kind of stuff. And he became like a banking lawyer and he wrote policy. And, you know, in 2008, the banks fell off a cliff because they were, you know, giving out loans, you know, indiscriminately and they weren't being, they weren't regulated correctly. And so that had to be fixed in order for the world not to fall off a cliff. And he was part of that. And so for this last um, 15 years, Pluto and Capricorn, there's been a rebuilding of his sense of what he's doing in the world. And he still was in that banking. I feel like now when we go into <laughs> this Pluto and, in, uh, Aquar uh, Pluto and Aquarius, I feel like now it's much more important to do work that has a, be to, a benefit for the collective a benefit for, for, you know, more egalitarian, flat society rather than hierarchical, right? Because that's Pluto. Pluto is transforming at a very fundamental level uh, a kind of society that we're living in into something that is more humanitarian. And since you have it moving from the 10th house of career into the 11th house of humanitarian causes, the global collective, enlightenment, and all of that, you're tracking right along with this. 
Okay. So there might be something about uh, making a choice of a different tribe. Okay. You might be hanging out with people who are not interested in the milk of human kindness, are not interested in that. You're much more interested in the boats and the cars and all that kind of other stuff. And the six of wands here, this is the ego part that says, look at me, I'm doing this. But there is a feeling, there is some kind of feeling of like, I want to shift from look at me how much money I have to look at me how much good am I doing on this planet. And I feel like that's what's going to call to you to come to the edge. That's what's going to be calling to you. All right, Aries, so I'm going to continue on with this reading. I will pull cards for each month next year. I'll talk more about your astrology as we get into that extended. The link is below if you want to continue on with me. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.